What is happening, Virgo? So this, oh wow, what is this card? We have the full card. So this is going to be a reading for April the 1st through the 15th. So I'm going to call in my spiritual guides, my higher self, to guide and protect me, and let me be aware of this message so that I can give this message to you. This is for all the Virgos. This is a general reading, so keep in mind it may not resonate with everyone, and that is okay. No worries. It's just a reading. There are plenty of other readers out there that will read for you. Keep in mind, I do private readings. Um, they are on sale for $30. So if you shoot me an email, my email is in the description box. Let's figure out what's going on with Virgo. I'm sorry if I'm talking low, you guys. I have my family in the other room and they are sleeping. So I hope you guys can hear me. Let's look and see what we have on the bottom of the deck. So Virgo, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could be having a lack of hope, okay? Um, a lack of willpower, thinking, think thinking that things aren't going to work in your favor, okay? I feel like you're definitely going through a karmic situation right now, Virgo. Um, and you've been hurt in the past um, by someone, a significant other, but this was a lesson for you to learn, okay? This was meant for you to, uh, to go this path, to be on this journey, and to learn from your mistakes as well. Um, I feel like somebody is, is, is you, like I said, you could be dealing with a, an air sign, a Aquarius. I feel like this person is um, spying on you, possibly, um, you know, it's like, get away from me, I don't want you around me, type of thing. Um, I feel like... Uh, There's action being taken in um, some lessons that you have learned through this karmic cycle with the Kabbalah, the Tree of Life. Um, because you are the wounded warrior here, you're standing strongly in your belief. You're standing up for what you believe in. You're fighting off someone who keeps on trying to spy on you. Someone who's trying to, um, you know, see what you're doing it's like get away from me i don't want to have nothing to do with you okay this person scares you um it's like you don't want to give anything to them they keep on sending you gifts in the mail possibly um in in uh, email um i feel like um you know you're pulling back from the situation because it kind of creeps you out as well um So, you know, it's like this person that you're dealing with has a lack of uh, value, um, a lack of self-worth, a lack of hope, and it's also um, making you want to withdraw from this connection. And as you withdraw from this connection, you're definitely feeling the burdens being lifted off your shoulders, just like this Ten of Wands here. Um, I feel like uh, it's like you're wanting to communicate. You're wanting to move away from this person. You're wanting you're wanting to tell this person, look, leave me alone, get away from me. But even though that you do tell this person that, 
they're still there. They're always there. They're like right at your door, so to say. You know, they're calling you um, every hour on the hour. I feel like this person is um, definitely somewhat immature. I feel that um, they have some sort of feelings for you, of course. <laughs> Uh, they won't leave you alone, Virgo, but they uh, they want something from you, and you don't have nothing to give to them, so therefore you're pulling back from the situation, and you're standing strongly into a new beginning. Look at this card, Virgo. This is your card here. You're very strong. Uh, you see things for what they really are, because you kept the faith through the karmic situations, through the hard times, you meditated on the truth, and now you're given a golden new beginning, okay? So we have the star card on the bottom of the deck, which is an air sign, but it's someone who is, you know, there's, like, there's no hope in this relationship. Someone who's playing games. I feel like you're thinking about this person, or this person is really thinking about you, thinking about what happened, thinking about the love that y'all could have shared or that y'all did share together, feeling trapped, feeling heartbroken, not being able to um, sustain themselves, um, get a hold of themselves as well. And this could represent you or the other person as well. I see that there's a lot of fights, a lot of competition. Um, I feel like you know what you want, you know. Um, I feel like this person is definitely, um, there's a sense of, uh, this is you Virgo, and I feel like this king of coins here is someone who is all about materialistic, and it's like, you know, you've realized what, what it was. It's like you've you've gone through this um, this cycle, okay? This conflict within yourself with this other person, and um, it's opened your eyes up, um, and you're trying to move away from this person. They won't leave you alone. It could be an air sign. It could be an Aquarius. But whatever it is, it was definitely meant to be. Um, it could have been a Taurus. So, um, we also have fire energy here too. Okay, so let's see. Spirit guides, guardian angels, tree of life in reverse. Okay, it's saying this cycle that you went through was opening you up, okay, Virgo. It was letting you know that you are powerful. You are the one who holds this ace of coins. You are your uh, manifestor of your life. You are the one who creates your surroundings, okay? Um, who is this page of swords? So we have another, we have a page of uh, a page of wands um, and this is Virgo, the page of wands in reverse is you know, it's like I feel like this person has a lot of anger because or maybe you are holding this anger because things didn't work out right. Uh, you thought possibly this person was the one. Um, I feel like you manifested this person into your life. Um, and now you're trying to walk away from this person because they're like definitely all over you trying to get to you. Um, yeah, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Virgo. Uh, let's see. And 
it's like, you know, it's like you're making up excuses <laughs> towards this person. Um, it's like you're not being truthful and because this person scares you, you know, I feel like, you know, it's like you're, you're, you're wanting to start fresh, you're wanting to start new, but you're not wanting to express this. Or you might have expressed it to this person, okay? And um, now you're just waiting for the reaction or, you know, what what's next, what is going to happen next, okay? And it's terrifying. I feel like, you know, you're very terrified. Um, but you're growing more independent within yourself, Virgo. Um, this heavy burden here that you're carrying is the Six of Cups, um, reconciliation, someone from your past coming back into your life. Um, but I feel like this person was very mischievous. Um, they just left without even saying anything and this is another person we're talking about who is this person very toxic I feel like this is the same person we're talking about actually um, this karmic relationship that you're going through um, there's no new beginning there is it's totally missed opportunity here um, you're trying to remove yourself, you're realizing it was a toxic relationship that you were in, and, you know, um, this person won't leave you alone. Yeah, there's definitely a completion. But with that completion, there is a new beginning here, okay? Especially with the High Priestess. You have a plan. And your plan is to keep your guard up and to keep this toxic out. I feel like the Queen of um, Pentacles would definitely represent <clears throat> Virgo energy, represent you, and this is you taking care of yourself. Um, I want to take a look at this other individual here. Yeah, it's like, you know, this was totally karmic. Totally karmic. You got what you wished for. And it didn't turn out in your favor, okay? So let's pull some romance angel cards. Spirit guides, guardian angels. What separation? So I feel like you you were in separation with someone and you ran into this um this karmic partner so to say while you were in separation and now they won't leave you alone um i feel like you were you're in separation with a true love okay um it has to do with finances and careers the reason why you guys broke up and I feel like you're learning to um, this karmic partner that came in while you were in separation with your true love really showed you how to maintain and grow spiritually within the physical um, and now you're like freeing yourself because you finally realized and you finally open your eyes Okay, so Virgo, 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 what can we expect? Virgo, what can we expect this for April, the first part of April for Virgo, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels? Okay, here we go. Okay, so we have a book here. A book represents knowledge. It represents studies, it represents secrets being revealed. 
So I feel like you're definitely revealing secrets about yourself, why it is that you um, kept on running into roadblocks, running into karmic situations, trying to free yourself from a karmic situation. And there's a house here, so there is stability, okay? There's definitely stability. This could be a house. I feel like um, for some of you, you could definitely be getting a house. Um, yeah, it's like this This is that karmic partner that you were dealing with. Um, within time, you were with that partner, you gained so much knowledge, okay? You gained so much knowledge behind this individual here, okay? Um, you tried to get away from this person <laughs> repetitively. You tried to get away over and over and over again, and you kept on running into roadblocks. It's like you, you're wanting to get to this person right here, but you kept on running into roadblocks. Um, this is the Lambeth. Um, I feel like this person definitely took took from you, lied to you. I feel like this person um, basically showed you what was need to be shown, okay? Um, that you were losing your self-worth, your self-dignity. And this was a cycle that was going over and over. So we have the house here. Um, wow, that represents a divine feminine and a divine uh, partnership as well as a child. So I feel like there is someone here that's waiting for you. Um, if you're a divine masculine watching this, this is definitely, uh, or if, you know, your family. Or if you are a divine feminine watching this, this is definitely your family, okay? And this karmic partner that you went through was something that was in your cards for a reason. Um, it was to show you where you truly belong. Okay, so that was your message for this week. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, share, subscribe, and take advantage of my reading, um, my personal readings. Thank you so very much, and have a nice day.